And so the goal of our research is to try and image the Earth's interior. Uh, and we use seismic waves as our imaging tool. So much like a medical doctor uses x-rays to image the body, we use seismic waves to image the Earth's interior. What we're doing is we um, simulate uh, seismic wave propagation on all scales, so from uh, exploration seismology to global scales. And we, uh, we do this using very large parallel computers. Uh, and the goal is to simulate as, as precisely as possible how waves propagate through the Earth's interior. And then we use that information to try and improve the images that we have, whether it's on the scale of a hydrocarbon reservoir or at the scale of the globe. The goal is to make maps, 3D maps, so the, the most exciting project we have is uh, in collaboration with Oak Ridge, we run on Titan. So on Titan, the goal is to image the Earth's interior on a global scale. So it's a, a global tomographic inversion. So there we use uh, the Cray, accelerated by NVIDIA graphics cards, to, uh, to perform these simulations. So we use uh, hundreds of earthquakes recorded by thousands of stations across the world. And uh, we use all of that information, we assimilate all of that information to try and constrain uh, images of the Earth's interior. Imaging is extremely important when you want to find hydrocarbons, so it has very practical uh, economical implications. It's also very important for quantitative seismic hazard assessment. So if you want to assess risk, seismic risk, you need to be able to simulate very precisely uh, the kinds of ground motions that are generated by earthquakes. What if we had another earthquake on the San Andreas Fault, what would the motions in Los Angeles look like? And so there again, you need these tools to be able to perform those kinds of simulations.